Hello Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Welcome to your monthly love reading for August 2023. Um, today we've got um, your oracle deck here for an extra message or, you know, the main message or a theme. And we've got your tarot here and we are going to just start, okay? So Oracle and Universe, tell us what is the message. Okay, I'll pick the first one. I'll pick the first one, okay? Yes, we will just move on. Hmm. Tarot in Universe, please tell us what is coming for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign for the month of August. What is coming for their love life? Okay. Okay, it's Ace of Pentacles reverse at the bottom of the deck. And then you've got read the energy. Okay, so yes, um, we are going to find out. There's Merlin, Master Merlin here. So read the energy. And let's see, you've got the Five of Cups reversed, Three of Cups reversed, and Four of Pentacles upright. Okay, so your oracle deck or card is telling you that you need to read the energy. Okay, and here I feel that, yes, um, for those of you who are, whether you're in a relationship or not, I feel you need to be mindful of where you're putting your energy so that you are not, you know, letting anyone drain you. Okay, um, whoever is in your life, perhaps you are feeling drained. Um, whether they are taking your money or whether um, you are putting physical energy um, into the connection and you are not getting it back, okay? So you need to be very careful and read the energy and be mindful of what you are actually using your energy for, Aries. That is what I'm, I'm, I'm feeling here. You have to make sure that you are also looking after yourself, not letting... Um, you know, don't pressure yourself, okay? And don't let people take advantage of you because here, this is read the energy. So I feel it's all about your physical body, okay? And how you are also feeling because you've got emotional cards here. You've got some serious emotional cards here. And some of you are probably, uh, you know, in August feeling like you are flirting. And um, yes, but... I feel whoever you feel you are flirting with, um, for some of you, they may show you a side that you didn't realize was there before. And you, you know, you, you see signs of them not being, um, some of you, your, your person is not emotionally there for you. Okay. As much as you may be there for, for them, especially those who are in a relationship. That's how I feel, okay? And if you are, you know, talking to someone and you are not really together, I feel like, you know, they are happy to flirt with you or it could be that you are flirting with them, but, you know, you are not really that bothered <laughs> about the relationship. Um, and here I feel that whatever you are doing in terms of your physical being, in terms of your energy, you also have to be mindful of the people who comes into your life, okay? Um, so if, especially if you're new, but if even you are in a relationship, I feel that yes, you have to, um, reserve and preserve your own energy and don't, um, overdo it. Okay. Whatever you do, don't overdo it. Don't, um, spread yourself thin as, as, I, as, I'm, as they say it. Okay. So just make sure that, um, you know, um, you are doing what is best for you. I feel you need to eat right. You need to look after your physical but i feel that is more important okay and if you are putting too much energy into a relationship make sure that you are getting it back okay so aries i hope this has been insightful for you i will see you next month or you see me next month